Hello everyone, welcome to Medicine Medicine. Today we have one of the most important yet very simple topic of ENT, vocal cord nodules and polyps. Let's begin with vocal cord nodules. Also known as singer's nodules, teacher's nodules, preacher's nodules or screamer's nodules. Which obviously brings you to the conclusion that it raises either due to excessive use of voice or due to voice abuse. Talking about its pathogenesis, vocal abuse results in hemorrhage and submucosal edema, which gradually leads to hyalinization and fibrosis. This causes the upper-lying epithelium to undergo hyperplasia. This hyperplasia in due course of time would result in formation of nodules. Clinical features seen in vocal cord nodules are hoarseness, occasional discomfort in throat, and pain on prolonged phonation. On examination, these vocal cord nodules appear as bilateral sessile outgrowths on free medial margin of vocal cord. If you notice something, these nodules are characteristically situated at the junction of anterior one-third and middle one-third of vocal cord. So this, is, this junction is the area of maximum vibration because of which it is subjected to maximum trauma. Now treatment. Small nodules may disappear with total voice rest or voice therapy. Large nodules which do not respond to voice rest or therapy will need excision under general anesthesia, a process called microlaryngeal surgery, and some patients will need post-operative voice therapy and counseling. However, there is one thing that needs to be specially cared while managing vocal cord nodules in singers and young children. It should be best managed conservatively rather than surgically because sometimes surgery can cause irreversible injury to the vocal cords and this can totally hamper singer's profession or child's future. So our next topic is vocal cord polyps. While the patients of vocal cord polyps and nodules both present with complaints of hoarseness most of the times, it is quite easy to differentiate them on examination. While the nodules are bilateral and sessile, these polyps are characteristically smooth, round, unilateral and pedunculated. These are classically seen in case of chronic smokers. Talking about pathology, these vocal cord polyps result due to accumulation of viscous fluid in Reinke's space. So Reinke's space is nothing but sub-epithelial space of vocal cord. And since this space has some loose attachment, there can be easy accumulation of fluids inside, causing polyps formation. And this is why vocal cord polyps are often referred as Reinke's edema. Treatment of polyp is microlaryngoscopy and excision. So while doing the treatment, an incision is made over the epithelium and the viscous fluid is aspirated after which the redundant mucosa is excised. So, this completes our session. We hope we could help you a bit. If yes, please like, comment, share and subscribe and stay tuned to our channel for more videos every week.